Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. Mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. That boy took my love away. Though he'll regret it someday, yeah. this boy wants you back again oh and this boy would be happy just to love you but oh my that boy would be happy till he sees cry this boy wouldn't mind the pain would always feel the same if this boy gets you back again this boy This boy. So you know, I couldn't go up an octave higher like in the old days. It's too early in the morning. Then you would have realized, oh, he's no longer a second tenor. All right. Welcome to Tuesday. Name something on your bucket list. That's my question about aging. Uh, as if there's still something that you haven't experienced that you'll regret if you don't. Another way of looking at it is, uh, are you writing your own obit? What do you want them to say? Mm -hmm. And if that already exists, it's harvest time. Just groove for the rest of your life. But if there's things that you need to do in order for that to be true, so it could be written in your obit, time to get your ass in gear, right? So let me know what's going on. I'll let you know what's going on for me. All right. A lot of energy necessary to face change, to put up with the constant future shock. Everything's going so fast, so many demands being made upon us. And I'm a big believer that you have to find ways to nourish yourself so you don't get fatigue. My word is languor, kind of drooping energy, lacking in vigor, like you're going slack. And if you don't know how to counteract that, you're going to pine and suffer under any unfavorable conditions. Some of her are not worthy of that kind of suffering. Anyway, if you want to get access to good feelings, you use the law of attraction, which says that which is unto, like unto itself is drawn. So what I suggest is that you mime masterminds. Right? You imitate them. Mime masterminds because that's the way you'll make others feel valued, recognized, respected, and appreciated. And you'll see how it will come back to you in spades. Now, I've come to a fuller awareness of the paradoxical nature of, of the psyche. And on one level, whatever promotes psychic well-being, I value, I cherish, it's almost irresistible for me not to go there. But then there's also another part of our psyche that kind of uh, attacks us with an individual kind of scorn. It brings our disgrace our despair, our rejection to our face. But you know, that takes on a very different meaning if you can find the archetypal paradigm behind those things. So this is where you have to study symbolism. And in terms of your own life, why should you go back and experience any trauma from the past? Well, so it won't get in your way in the future. Right? So the ghosts of the past won't be barfing all over your daily life. You don't have to get, engage in a blame game, in a shame game, or I'm getting out of the hell out of here game. Even if you continue to do the work, there, there will be a stumble here and there. You will fall, stumbling toward the light. But the good, good news is not as often. And you'll be more aware and accountable. And therefore, the ruts of your life won't be nearly as deep or scary because you trust yourself more based on your experience to know what to do. Um, now, certainly this comes from a male fairy tale, Iron John that I first encountered with Robert Bly. But 
it's about the wild energy within you that in some way society tries to damp down. Like I said, they don't want you to have the full keyboard. It's like they whittle you down to middle C. Maybe nobody told you about this since you were young, since they shut it down. But this is really an experience of your own divine intelligence, which is healthy, robust, compassionate, decisive, has goodwill. And once you step into your power, it's a generous leadership energy that you do for the sake of the community. So I hope that you all speak to maintain connection, to maintain life, to maintain happiness, to give your true self-expression, not hold back. Because as long as you recognize anything other than spirit, under any pretense, you will punish yourself and there will be fear. The negative has no power over you except the power that you give it by believing in it. So it's not that I don't work intellectually, but I spend enough time ceasing to work intellectually, not going down my left brain reality tunnel as if I could possess spirit just with my intellect. Instead, I just welcome spirit immediately and let it in. Because they say, you know, where does spirit exist? Wherever you let it in. Have a great day.